I greet you, dear brethren, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope that you are fine and the Lord has been with you. I want to welcome you to our 100 Days of Prayer series. And today is day 76 of our 100 Days of Prayer. And uh, we want to thank God for this Father he has brought us. The focus for today is uh, comes from the book of Luke 11, verse 13. Luke 11, verse 13. And the title of today is The Best Gift. Uh, have you ever received a gift that... Uh, you still remember it many years ago, but you still remember it. Or what would be the best gift that maybe your friend, your spouse can give to you, or your, your, your child or your parent can give to you that you can say this is the best of all. Uh, today we, are, we want to study or we want to have a devotion about the best gift, the best gift. And before we continue, shall we have a word of prayer. Our kind and loving Master in heaven, we are thankful and grateful for this opportunity you have given unto us so that we can hear your word. We invoke thy holy presence to abide with us so that Jehovah God, as we read the, your word and as we uh, expound on it, that Father, it will find a place in our hearts and it will help us to draw closer and closer to thee. May you be with my dear viewer, bless him or her, and at this moment, Jehovah God, may you uh, uh, enable him to be, uh, uh, to concentrate on this word so that he can gain something and Jehovah God this word can uh, give truth unto his heart or her heart and Jehovah God the truth will set her free. Thank you for being with us and thank you for promising to continue being with us for it is in Jesus name we have prayed and given thanks. Amen. Amen. The key verse for today comes from the book of Luke 11. Matthew, Mark Luke 11 and verse 13. Luke 11, verse 13. The Bible says, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? So remember, this is coming uh, in the context of Jesus Christ speaking to the uh, uh, to his disciples, or speaking to the congregation, and he was encouraging them on how to continue trusting in the Lord. Remember. He had stated there before a prayer that all of us, we usually say, and uh, uh, an aspect that everyone knows if you are Christian or not a Christian, it is a, it, it, these phrases are known are, are on the, are on the, in the lips of many people. And this is the statement that says that seek and you shall find, knock the door and the door shall be opened unto you, uh, ask and it shall be given unto you. It is after this that Jesus is saying these words. He's saying that he, that, 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 that if you then, uh, because he, he bring, brought the aspect of uh, fatherhood or the aspect of parenthood, and he was saying, we as human beings, we as sinners, when we, our children ask of gifts, we do not in turn give them bad things, but we give them good gifts. We give them gifts that they are happy. And he says that we, what of me or what of your father who has no evil, have not done evil, he have not sinned, because as sinners we have done evil. As sinners we have done bad things, but the Father have never done a bad thing. He says, if you then being of good, uh, of, of being evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How to, uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, now, how then? Yeah, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? I think we have looked at the aspect of the Holy Spirit since day 72. And we have seen that it is very important for a Christian to have the Holy Spirit. And we have seen that the Holy Spirit plays a very integral part in our lives. In, in, in day 72, we saw that he is our helper, he is our advocate, our comforter. In day 73, we saw that the Holy Spirit is the one who leads us to the truth. And in day 74, we saw that the 
Holy Spirit is, uh, uh, convicts us of sin so that we can be saved. In day 75, he, we saw that he reflects, uh, he is the one who helps us to reflect Jesus Christ or to reflect Jesus Christ or to reflect the character of Jesus Christ. In day 76, we saw that he, he we are seeing that he is the best gift. Because in all these things, we are people who would like to be like, uh, to, 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 to be good people. We would like to be conformed with the heaven, with the heaven. We would like to be like Jesus Christ. So it is a gift, good gift. The scripture here tells us that Jesus was saying that he will give us yeah? He will give us the Holy Spirit. The Lord is more willing to give the Holy Spirit to those who serve him than the parents, uh, than parents are to give good gifts to their children. For the daily baptism of the Spirit, every worker should offer his petition to God. We are supposed to ask God to give us because the Father is very much willing to give you the Holy Spirit if you ask him. God never forces himself to you. That is why you need to ask. The original Greek in Luke uh, 11 indicates that this asking is an ongoing lifelong activity of seeking more of him. I know English has no such kind of words that are showing us that it is not just a one-time process, but it is an ongoing process. Greek has very rich uh, uh, grammar and it has very rich uh, 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 um, uh, aspect that this word that is used to show how the Holy Spirit will work in us, it shows, it's a word that shows it is an ongoing process. It is a process of opening up our hearts to God like a flower opens to the sun daily and continually we need to be immersed and filled with the presence of God through his spirit. God's work of sanctification and character pre preparation for eternity is a process. It is not a one day thing. Every day he gives us new convictions, challenges and directs through his word and we need to daily invite his spirit spirit into our hearts for grace and ability to obey and to do his good will. Loving others as he loves us. You might have asked for the Holy Spirit before, but understanding that you need his baptism on a daily basis will, uh, will uh, on a daily basis, it is a, the question that I would pose to you today is that will you ask for more of his presence of your, in your life? Will you invite the Holy Holy Spirit into every compartment of your heart without holding anything back. Dear brethren, it is a high time that you let Jesus or you let the Holy Spirit take over your life. It is a high time that you let the Holy Spirit take over your heart so that he will convict you of his will, he of the will of Jesus Christ, so that he will convict you of his need, of all your need to be with him daily. Dear brethren, invoke the Holy Presence in your life. Invite him in your life so that he will enable you to go on with life the, the way he would like and to continue doing the will of God and to continue working upon your life. And when you do that, I know that when he comes the second time, you will be part of the saints who will be marching in enthusiastically, happily saying, thank you for coming to take us home. This moment, I invite you, as we pray, that may you pray for a double portion of the Holy Spirit so that he will be able to enable you to do what is in accordance to the will of God. Shall we pray? Our loving Master, we are thankful this day. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift that you have given us just freely. And we just need to receive him. Jehovah God, we want to thank you for the opportunity you have given unto us to listen, to listen even unto this word. Thank you so much. May you enable us to accept the Holy Spirit. May you enable us to invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts so that Jehovah God, he can transform us. He can transform our hearts to be like you. 
At this moment, I want to uplift my dear viewer into the able throne. May you be with him or her, and may you enable him to accept and appreciate the gift of the Holy Spirit, uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit, so that he can allow him to work in his heart, so that Jehovah God, in our daily basis, in our day-to-day -day activities, we will be able to illuminate the light that the Holy Spirit brings in our hearts. Thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because of this, Father, that you have brought us, and thank you because, Jehovah God, you have promised to be with us. And Jehovah God, we pray that even the aspects that have been brought by COVID-19, the difficulties in life that we are experiencing, that you will remove them in Jesus' name. May you be with my dear viewer. There is the prayers that he has posted before thy throne of grace. Father, I pray that may you answer those prayers even the, if, if they are in accordance to thy will. And Father, if Jehovah God, there are needs that he has, there are uh, 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 cares that he has posted before thy throne of grace, may you answer him or her. Remember, Jehovah God, those who are suffering with the, uh, with the sicknesses, oh Jehovah God, may you visit them, touch them with your right healing hand, and may they be well. And those who, Jehovah God, they are taking care of the sick, may you cover them under your wings also, so that they will be safe, and they will continue testifying of your goodness. Thank you for this, Father, that you have brought us. May you be with our government, may you be with our country, may you be with all of us and those who don't have even food, may you provide for them, for, the, for you are our great provider. And this fights you who has brought us because you are our Ebenezer. It is in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we have prayed and given thanks. Amen and amen. God bless you, may God keep you, and may God cover you under his wings so that you will be safe. Remember to keep safe and to continue sharing these messages so that they can bless others. God bless you.